हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी स्टार्ट मोटर स्टार्टर विथ प्रोक्सीमिटी सेंसर एंड स्टॉप विथ टाइमर इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अ कंट्रोल वायरिंग कनेक्शन वेरी इजीली एंड आल्सो लर्न अ वर्किंग ऑफ द स्टार्टर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वर्किंग ऑफ स्टार्टर ओके इफ यू हैव एनी मोटर स्टार्टर एंड यू वांट टू स्टार्ट योर स्टार्टर व्हेन प्रोक्सीमिटी सेंसर ऑपरेट ओके when proximity sensor operate then your motor starter will start now if you want to run your motor starter for 10 second 30 second 1 minute half hour as you desire okay so you can set the timing in this timer okay if you want to run your motor for 30 minute or 1 minute or 10 second okay if you want to run your motor for 10 second okay so we set 10 second in this timer okay so when proximity sensor operate motor starter will run and if you say 10 second in this timer so your motor starter will run for 10 second okay after completing time your motor starter will stop automatically okay so it's very simple when proximity sensor operate your motor starter will run and if you say 10 second in this timer so so after 10 second your motor starter will automatically off okay it's very simple so first understand which component is required for this control wiring so we required one proximity sensor in this video we use p and p model proximity sensor you can see here we use p and p sensor of three wire proximity sensor okay p and p sensor for operating this sensor because sensor is 24 volt we use one smps okay and for because of sensor is 24 volt so we require 24 volt dc 24 volt dc relay eight pin glass relay we use in the, for this control wiring one relay base now one one starter which is one contactor and one overload relay okay? and one timer for stopping or starter and one control mcb okay smps for 220 volt to 24 volt converging purpose okay now first we done neutral wiring okay our contactor is 220 volt so first connect neutral to contactor a1 terminal and uh, in timer we use a1 terminal will connect neutral so we connect a neutral in timer a1 terminal and in smps smps required 220 volts of phase in neutral is input supply and it is a output supply which is 24 volts so first we connect a neutral to all of the component first contactor timer and smps now we connect a neutral directly to the contactor coil timer co and smps okay first we understand timer terminals okay in this timer it is a eapl model it is a a1 and a2 terminal so a1 and a2 is a coil of timer which it is if we want to operate this timer then we need to provide 220 volt okay so a1 and a2 is a coil 15 it is a 15 number point which is a common 16 is a nc and 18 is a no okay 25 is a common 26 is a nc and 28 is a a no okay it's very simple now we connect a phase wire and gives to the smps okay smps now smps to 20 volt connection is completed now it converts to 20 to 24 volt okay so smps input connection is completed now now understand p and p sensor wiring okay it is a three wire p and p sensor okay you can see that in this sensor red wire is a positive and a blue wire is a negative because we if we want to operate the sensor then you have to you has to give 24 volt to positive is in this red wire 0 volt to blue wire and it is a red wire black wire black wire is for output that means our reference that means uh, if we provide supply to 24 volt red and blue if sensor operate it is a metallic sensor okay if sensor operate it is a p and p sensor that means output of sensor is positive okay because p and p model so output of the sensor is positive if your sensor is n p n model that means output of the sensor will be negative but it is a p and p sensor okay so when we operate this sensor then in this black tar we have positive supply okay it's a very basic concept if this sensor will be as n p n model n p n model so if sensor operate then the, in this black tar in this black wire we have negative supply okay so it is a pnp sensor so in when sensor operate so in black uh, wire we have positive supply it's very basic 
so first we provide 24 volt to sensor okay so in this uh, smps you can see that positive is a two terminal for positive so first we provide positive supply to smps okay to sensor positive wire connector here and we connect negative wire to the sensor okay you can see see here our sensor has to 20, 24 volt supply here. now sensor input connection is completed now when sensor operate relay should operate and with relay our starter will operate it's a very basic working okay so it is a 8 pin glass relay you can see here in 8 pin glass relay 7 and 2 is a coil you can see here okay please zoom it okay 7 and 2 is a coil which is 24 volt so need to provide 24 volt here 7 and 2 8 is a common 8 to 5 is a 8 to 5 is a NC and 8 to 6 is a NO uh, 1 1 to 4 1 to 4 is a NC and 1 to 3 is a NO very basic concept here so first we connect uh, this positive wire to relay positive supply okay we need to connect to 24 volt so first uh, when sensor operate in this uh, black wire we have positive supply okay so we connect one connector which is positive wire so we connect one connector and gives to the relay coil two number point okay when sensor operate relay coil get positive 24 volt okay when relay operate when sensor operate then relay get positive 24 volt okay now for operating this relay we need to provide negative supply or zero volt okay so we connect zero volt directly to the relay coil okay when sensor operate positive supply goes to in relay and negative are directly connected so when sensor operate relay also operate so we connect one negative wire here directly to the smps and provide a relay coil seven number point okay so we provide a negative supply directly and a positive supply with sensor when sensor operate then our relay will operate okay we connect it this negative supply directly to the relay coil seven number now it's very simple when sensor operate relay also operate and when relay operate our starter should operate okay so we use relay common and no point okay when relay operate since starts starter should operate so we connect one twenty two twenty 220 volt supply phase wire because our contactor is 24 220 volt so negative neutral directly connected and phase will give through the relay when relay operate the starter will operate so we connect one twenty two twenty 220 volt supply here now we connect a phase wire and connect to the relay common point which is eight number point you can use one number point also but we use eight number point okay which is common point okay and in relay basic working when relay operate common supply goes to the ano terminal okay so we first connect common wire now we connect one wire to relay common po ano point which is six number point eight and six ano okay when relay operate then common supply comes to the relay ano point okay so when relay operate our starter should operate okay so we connect one connector to the relay six number point and by this we first give to the overload relay nc point okay when our motor gets more current then overload relay will trip for safety purpose so first we connect to phase wire to overload relay nc and from nc we connect one connector and operate relay operate our starter okay so when relay operate our starter will operate but manually operate okay because we not provide holding to the glass relay okay so first we check how it works after that we provide holding supply and we not operate timer also okay after it, how to operate timer now first check how our starter manually operate okay when sensor operate our contactor should operate okay sensor operate relay operate by relay our starter operate manually you can see here now we learn how to provide holding and control with timer okay so first when we operate contactor okay when relay operate starter operate as well as timer should operate okay because we set in this timer okay 
so when relay operate starter operate and by the starter our timer should operate okay so we connect one wire from timer coil to the contact uh, timer coil to contactor coil okay because when contactor operate as well as our timer should operate so we connect one connector from timer coil a2 to our timer coil a2 to contactor coil a2 okay now when relay operate timer operate and you can see that timer also operated now for operating permanently we first provide holding to the relay okay so for providing holding we connect one connector from relay to number coil to one number a no point first we connect one connector here and after it we provide holding supply from this relay three number point which is a no point okay when relay operate this a holding supply comes directly here and operate comes to the re relay common point and we connect one connector from one to coil then our relay will operate permanently okay so first we connect to one connector from relay two number coil to one number common okay two number to one number first we connect to one connector here now we connect one connector from relay two number coil to one number common point okay now providing holding connection we should give to supply to the relay three number point which is a no point okay it's the most important thing where to provide holding okay and we want to control our starter with this timer okay so first because relay of our 24 volt dc relay okay so for holding we need to provide 24 volt dc positive wire okay so we connect a positive one wire from here directly to the smps okay because in the in this wire 24 volt positive supply comes continuously so first we connect one wire now connect this holding wire to timer common point okay we connect this holding wire to timer common point okay first understand timer working after that we provide holding okay first we connect to the timer common point now we connect to holding wire here first understand timer working okay if we say 10 second in this timer and our timer coil operate okay so for 10 second common supply goes to the nc terminal and after 10 second this nc supply cut and goes to the ano one more time when timer coil operate and if you say 10 second or 13 second in this timer so for this desired time your common supply goes to the nc terminal and after completing time nc supply cuts and goes to the ano terminal okay and we want to start our starter as timer timing setting okay if we say 10 second in this timer so for 10 second this common supply comes in this nc terminal okay so we connect one wire from this nc terminal and provide holding to relay okay when we say start our starter so according to timer if you say 10 second half hour one hour as we desire so that time this common supply comes to the relay common relay nc point and hold the relay after timing completing our starter will stop okay so we for providing holding we just use timer common and nc terminal for provide holding okay now our connection is done now check how our starter works okay it's very simple for providing holding we relay timer nc and common point now we set 10 second in this timer okay now we start control mcb when sensor operate for 10 second our relay operate and starter operate after 10 seconds starter will stop okay first now when sensor operate our starter will start and it will start for which time we set in this timer okay we set 10 second in this timer so our starter will run for only 10 second okay you can see here 10 second after 10 second it is stop you can see here after 10 second it will stop so you can start your starter with proximity sensor and stop with timer very easily hope you like this video if you like video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching